How is it going? So this is part 16, I think. We're going to be jumping into Malmoth. But I think we are going to be checking out some crafts here. At the very least, some Ugdomborg leathers. We're listening to Guild Wars 2, Heart of Thorns, OST. How many mutated scales do we have? Six? Seven? We actually have ten. Fair. Yeah, this was an interesting one as well, true. I was keeping a couple of items over here to, like, check. I keep that one over there as well. So, um... I think we start by crafting the Ugdombug leather. I'm thinking like two of these. It's gonna give me some defense mobility basically. We're gonna gain about like 60 defense mobility, I think, here. We can also craft something called Shard of Betternath, which is Vitality and Aether Resistances with HP and Armor Absorption, which is not all too bad. Sacred Plating, by the way, not Shard of Betternath, is my bad. Um, Titan Plating and the Living Armor is missing, we don't necessarily have those yet, going south. There was a seal of blight that we learned, I think, earlier. This is acid poison on top of the vitality. So seal of blight is a very good craft as well. If you go with like two seal of blights right now, it's gonna give me an active as well, if I'm not mistaken, which is pretty interesting. I'm mean, gonna I need to go for, at the very least, one Seal of Blight here. Let's see. Enter Venom Cell. That is for Seal of Blight, and then... I have one extra, right? <laughs> That's annoying me. Math failure, once again. It's the Seal of Blight. So this one gives you the Acid Purge. This is a channel skill, must be held down to maintain at 100% cast speed. Acid Purge deals damage and drains energy, 0.3. I like the fact that it's also scaling Acid and Poison a little bit, which we do have. We're gonna craft like at the very least one item bog leather. Kind of contemplating keeping the rest because of my mutator scales. Very limited. But I do need the defensive ability. So yesterday we found this dagger that I was trying to go for. Uh, maybe it is on implements. There we go. The Claw of Hagaraz. It actually requires a symbol of Solel. Which we have only two of them. Spectre should be easy to craft, isn't it? Uh, if you if you know it, <laughs> if you know it, yeah, it should be. Let's see, like where it drops from. Faction robbers coming for you. Should I probably like bought some of the recipes like this for the most part? It's probably here. Uh, let's buy the Mark of Mark Dragon. Buy the Spectre, of course. Ventral Wraith is fine. Runestone, I already have it apparently. Rest this remains. Sure. Okay, the other two can stay. 
Uh, is there anything else like this that is pretty important from here? Empowered Omen? <laughs> Let's go back to the blacksmith. So, as I was saying, like, Spectre should be easy to craft, but I think the other one is going to be a little bit harder, in fact. That is the Juggernaut. See if we have the Juggernaut to begin with. Oleron's blood. Yeah, Oleron's blood was something that we checked on the other parts. Um, I need to check like where you get the Oleron blood from. Let me see. Oh, it's gonna build this up. Because hmm. I don't have this recipe either, and it's actually like very difficult. Components. Maybe I could actually like check it the same way over here. Let's see. I can check it the same way over there. It's nice. The Black Legion. Okay. It's going to be pretty tough to craft this though. I hate this craft. It's going to take our bindings with it. How's it going, Myopi? Welcome. Legion Slicer. The Arcane Spark. Fortitude. Ballistic Plating. And All Their Own Blood. Gonna buy all of those. Let's go back. Can I even like craft single all and blood? Let's see. I could. It's not too bad because apparently we have quite a lot of bindings. I can sit in the bank for now. So for the jug, we need a Mismon Talisman, Sanctuary, Calamity. Uh Luckily, I have the Mismoin Talisman, so I think this recipe drops from um, the boss of Smuggler's Pass, I want to say. It's an easy craft. That was also the reason why we are keeping the Trollbone Crushers. Sanctuary, Calamity, and a Reinforced Shell. I really hope I have the Reinforced Shell. What is a Reinforced Shell? Actually, not sure. It's a regular. That one. Oh my god, it's a battered shell. Do we have any pieces in the bank? <laughs> the answer is no. <laughs> okay. I heard. so bad oh yeah so we have the calamity that's an easy craft sanctuary seems to be an easy craft as well with the battle shell <laughs> hurts and the token note is there finally um so we just need a spectre here the Spectre. Holy oh, shit, it actually doesn't require you guys. That is funny. It actually doesn't require a better shell. Interesting. They must have made a typo there. So the Wendigo Claw is in fact one of the stuff that can drop from the content that we're about to jump into. I think so at least. But... Yeah, you will off and stuff like that. It's going to be dropping from the AOM. We're about to start that, so that's nice. That's nice. Uh, I'm gonna put my Dumbog Leather on top of this belt. We're gonna end up using that belt for some time to come. I'm guessing so. 
So we keep the belt over there. Use that leather on it. And then which one is like the better weapon here? Let's put it on the better weapon. One of them has like 550 HP. Uh, this one has like cooldown reduction. And this one is like cunning percentages. I suppose the cooldown reduction and the damage percent a little bit better. Let's keep the item on this guy. It's a blight. And the blight is also giving me... Um, yeah. New ability basically. The acid purge. I don't really know like how strong it is, but this character, the one that we are playing right now, doesn't necessarily have that much energy generation. So that's an issue. I'll definitely put the energy generation one for sure. Do I have like any um Hmm. That was like lightning and aether or something, right? I'm gonna put that one. So, before jumping into AOM, I think we're almost there. How about we check these items? This one's like very good defensive ability. About the same HP, about the same damage. We are dropping something. What are we dropping? Aether resistance? We're gaining maximum pierce resistance for it too. Uh, this is a Better item overall, I would say. There's also this medallion. There's one thing that I want to tell you is that, like, no matter these metals, like, I kind of want to play, especially after crafting the rune, um, sorry, the, the dagger, I kind of want to play with the uh, basilisk mark. So maybe not change this and try to, like, find a better basilisk mark than my mine. Don't know. Might be a thing. Chaos and Elemental Resistance going away for peers, but we're gaining defensive ability. We're losing some HP, I suppose, right? Oh, I might be able to change this, actually, for now. Armor, stun reduction, but I'm dropping... Revenous. These are so hard choices. I think we are going. Let's do this. I kind of want to like remove this from my build when I make it to Coven. We are not going to be using this for now. Good morning, by the way. Hypno. How's it going, dude? <laughs> it's raining here in Stockholm. Fair enough. We're getting a good weather if the past, like, for the first time the past, I don't know, a couple of weeks, I think. Yo, what's up, Brizzle? How's it going, bro? Back in the Cabalist, that was nice to see. Yeah, I'll be playing the Cabalist quite a bit today and tomorrow. I think I'll try and like finish what we have been trying to do here. See how it goes. It's pretty troublesome right now though. The content is very hard for 
questionable gear that we have, basically. <laughs> so we're... I'm trying to, like, kill all the Wendigos that we're seeing because, like, we kind of need some sort of, like, a dagger from them. Let's see how it goes. Maybe you could even, like, buy it from someone. I'm not really sure. Maybe it's only inside, uh... Ancient Girl. Who knows? We'll most likely be needing quite lots of, like, flowers as well. Guys, one thing I want you to remember is we're nemesis with the beast. <laughs> and uh, I'm pretty sure to gear. I have like 1.6k. Not the biggest deal, but I have like 1.6k armor. And 2.4k defense mobility. That's going to be very interesting to fight Kuba with. And we will. We shall. I'm not scared. Kuba is actually pretty resistant to I-82. I think so. But if you don't want to fight him, and if it is like looking absolutely crazy, you could definitely dodge him by teleporting somewhere else. And then, you know, making your way around it. Definitely, like... It's all right. So we can we can like try see how it goes, and then if it's going absolutely terrible, or if I die, uh, we could just dodge him. It's fine. Good morning, Ben. How's it going? Bob's is saying extremely powerful build. The build itself is very powerful. It's just not very optimized because I'm not farming almost at all and we're just going ahead when you reach ultimate on your first character you usually want to be farming it a bit like easy spots I'll say so it's actually like a testament to the fact that the build is incredibly strong because I have no deaths so far and I'm still able to like stand still with those stats against something like this in front of me without farming it all. Did we manage to find a claw? No. How does the conversion supporting nodes work? For example, if I convert hundreds of the fire to physical for the rune of Kalastor, does the supporting nodes burn damage ignition get converted to trauma as well? Yeah, they do. If there's a corresponding damage over time for the conversion that you make, it will always convert to that damage over time as well. Such as like from fist to fire, then trauma becomes burned. I cannot really tell if this uh, Seal of Blight is dealing damage or not. How How is the scaling? Acid, Vitality, and Poison. Heavier the Poison side. Okay. So you can actually like touch a monster once, like this, and they will, they will have the poison. This is scary, by the way. <laughs> Please, mercy. Give or take the... Um, Q 
Koopa fight is gonna feel exactly this way too. Okay, it's all because of you to begin with. Voracious growth. I can't really decide where I wanna go. Uh, I'm not wrong when I said like Kuba is pretty resistant to white taste, right? He is right, okay. Cheers. I managed to find any flowers, two so far. It's entirely possible for us to like not see Kuba also because I'm not going to be going into the ancient grove for some time to come. It's a hard location. Maybe he spawns an ancient grove, then that's going to be making things a lot easier for me, of course. That's about like 30% chance, I think, so I likely to find them outside. How about the other reputation, speaking of which? Be close to Nemesis with anything else. Chthonians, maybe. Dude, finding Gravathor would be a suicide there. Haven damage as a Cumbrum. Brizzle is saying out of all the nemesis, he takes the longest for a white as a catalyst. Mm. There's a blue item over there that I want to pick up. I think I want to get to, like, the only problem that we have is basically mutated scales when it comes to, like, defensibility right now. I think I want to get to, like, 2.5k-ish defensibility, and I could if I had some mutated scales, I think. Like, crafting, um, crafting a couple of Ugdenburg leathers would definitely, like, fix that issue. So, no Basilisk. Like, well, we didn't kill any Basilisk so far, so. So I'm back with this. Some messed stuff start, though. Should kill this, apparently. How do you think random variables like mutators are good for game in general or should keep it only for like crucible and sr uh, i think mutators are like really fun but it should be made a lot more um clear that like for you to be having mutators in the content that you're in 
you're getting rewarded in return. There's no proof of that in the game at all, so it should be made clear. A new mouse over it. It should say, like, your chance to find better items increased. Anything. Uh, on top of that, there are some, like, very absolutely broken mutators in the game. It feels like they didn't necessarily put so much thought uh, into this process. They just, like, copy-pasted from Crucible or something. So you, you can join a place and it will say they're just resistant to physical attacks. You're like, okay, who cares? And then you can join another place. It will say 60% critical hit damage on the monsters. So if a crit was not going to kill you, now it will instantly one-shot you, depending on the character. Not everyone is like playing the game with like an absolute crazy character. Like you gotta remember that. That's like one percent. This game is single player. Not everyone is checking guides. They shouldn't either. Like that mutator is absolutely bad. Bad design. Um. So yeah, that's what I think about the mutators. I I think they're uh, very good, but should have been implemented in a better way, in my opinion. Actually, good weather indeed, right? Yeah. <laughs> Caraxes. Oh, disgusting creature. Did they talk about my dodge? Dodges, even. Dodge Arena. Yeah. Our damage isn't so bad right now. Apparently, like, the stuff that we have done, like Bastion of Chaos, Sentinel Kill, and stuff like that, was a little bit harder than this content. Looks like. It's definitely easier to walk around right now. That's a relief. How you doing, by the way, Protoss? Welcome, dude. <clears throat> Only slightly annoying when they have plus 70% HP and 600% life steal with minus 60% HP. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that sounds a little bit weird, I agree. There, there are lots of weird stuff like that. I, I just gave the, you know, example of crit damage, but yeah. I think it should have been a little bit like smaller mutators, let's say, like less impact or like less flavor. I don't know how to how to say. Didn't really like come up with mutators myself. There are already like some good ones in it. Uh, but as I said, like it, it should have been a little bit clear that they are rewarding. There's absolutely no uh, proof for that, other than when they were being implemented, somebody's forum post. Drain Essence. <laughs> it's like... Basilisk bite. We have these things, right? Pretty sure we do. Because it's been some time since I did this, so uh, yeah, it's good. And 
Dash is saying someone has been over for three months here almost. Uh, almost winter and we are still getting like 30 degrees days uh, but that is better than like 40 plus we had like 60 days in a row would love to see some rain here Hoping for like a couple of mic drops here, but not going so well so far. Oh, the badger. Mythical of Venom Lash. I haven't played Grimdon for a few days now. Yeah, you've been telling me you're playing some Switch now. It's the green one that we need, and we got the other two. How fair is that? Can you compare a bit end game content between Path of Exile and Grim Dawn? This one's like offline gear hunt. Instead of like a continuous map design or a league design, you just have like bosses in this one. You could also do some other uh, stuff too, I suppose. Like Crucible and SR and stuff like that. Too. Not really sure if I'm in danger versus this. It's actually gonna catch me there. I don't like her positioning here. Yeah. 
Alright, I'm gonna need to use a potion here because it is very, very risky. It's annoying me. Just pop like an eight. Vitality resistance potion, guys. So that I don't get nuked down. So I can play a little bit easier. Go. Her damage is like a lot more bursty when it comes to like, you know, lower resistance on vitality here. Koning <laughs> is saying, just woke up and we have amazing weather over here as well. <laughs> nice, nice. Wouldn't mind one of those swords from these guys. Apparently it's not the easiest thing to find. Apparently the trees are capable of like slowing you down. <laughs> Still rocking the blade saw and talisman, yeah. I am. I like it man. It's making things a little bit more convenient. I feel like if you end up finding the Kthon offend, like you instantly swap. You could also like go acid version heavy, but you gotta take that decision earlier on. He committed into vitality, and I couldn't find the offend, so we stay this way. I think so. Trying to kill like all the flowers, hoping for some flower drops. So far, we have only managed to farm how many? Let me see. Four of them. <laughs> That's a little bit embarrassing. Not really sure why it's that low, but it's okay. Hand cannon. Let's pull this guy as well. Ah, oh, this stump was actually fake. It's going to be difficult.
This is not gonna do it, is it? Because it's not the bot that we need, I think. I think it's like the bloody one that we need. Ooh, Bargo. Where's my loot? I'm gonna go and check like the hidden place. Anyway, I think even though we found Bargo here, maybe some chest to loot, some components, maybe even some flowers. It's two. These things are giving me mutated scales, by the way. So, farming basilisks. They're not actually that bad, then. You could farm the cave, like, that is close to the barrel home, I suppose. We could run that place a couple of times today. For the mutated scales and, like, basilisk uh, marks, the emblems. I think it's a good idea. The only bad part about it is that, like, there are no flower drops along the way. Dash is saying, would Haunted Steel be better than the Hallowed Fang, thinking about, like, using one? Uh, if you can afford it, yeah, why not? Sure. I think the best one is definitely, like, the Seal of Light that I just crafted. And, uh, obviously two of them, instead of just one. But remember, like, Haunted Steel is giving you life steal, and you're not necessarily using, like, your weapon percentage with your Revenish Earth, so there's no life steal for you from it. So that like the only thing that's a little bit better is the percentages I suppose on it, right? So it doesn't matter that much in my opinion. Uh, but the seal of blight is very like a lot better, yeah. Very good. This is actually not too bad.
Oh, nice. Hmm. I actually forgot to, like, respec out of this thing, right? CGL. Let's do it when I'm back. Oh, Protoss, by the way, are you still there? What do you think of this? So, on the Necromancer part, instead of Fowler option, you save those points and you go for like Bloody Pox with Raise Dead. Yeah, this Seal of Blight. Uh, Blueprints is a random drop, but it's relatively easier than, than like, you know, tier 3 Red X or um, definitely like Helmcroft, stuff like that. 100% a lot easier to find. Um, so if you continue like running, you know, farm uh, routes and stuff like that, you will eventually find find these like seal recipes. They're, they're definitely easier. Is one dagger plus offhand better than dual wield that weapon? Uh, depends on the offhand in my opinion, Caver. Heavily depends on the offhand. I am going like this simply because this is a lot more reliable to find. Everyone will be able to find this. But if they end up finding a very good offhand for not only Revenant's Earth but for White Earth as well, then obviously they can release the relic as well. Uh, so I'm a little bit gimping myself, maybe. It's not that like I managed to find a very good offhand either. Um, it's also possible to play it acid, uh, but in that case, like everything is gonna change, so that's not what we are doing here. Definitely not. But yeah, I wouldn't play it acid so much because of the minus distance also from here is weird. Don't like it that much. Not not a favorite. <laughs> not my favorite. That weapon is pog plus two seconds, yes. But there's an offend out there uh, that is capable of converting the entire acid damage to Y13. In that case, I think that will be better. <laughs> yeah, Blood Orb offend is better, exactly that one. Blood Orb would be insane. <laughs> I keep on forgetting the name of that offend, but. Uh... There's also um, another offend that you can go for from one of the cults in, in Conclave, in FG. Uh, it kind of buffs... I don't know, I think we're running this. I think we're running this. It kind of buffs like the bloody pox instead, but we are going to be going heavily into bloody pox when we are actually like fully geared with the Dark One set. So that offend doesn't necessarily do anything for me just, just yet. But like, it is possible for me to take that route as well after the Dark One set if I wanted to. And that is reliable too, like everyone can do that. It's just requiring some reputation. You know what I mean? Reflect is destroying me here apparently. Mythical Gore Feast.
That's a corrupted soul. How do you write that, guys? Corruptor. The corrupted soul. The armor corrupts, tempers, and chances an attack, granting you dark power. Health restored. Vitality damage increase. I'm gonna say upgrade, but at the same time, it is uh, kind of unfortunate that I'm dropping some resistances there. Namely, chaos. It should be playable though. Johnny is saying, I'm so jelly I can never get to into this part of the game. I just get bored around level 50 every time. Really? Don't you have like leveling stuff? I mean, it's alright to like get bored and open a new character and stuff like that, of course. Like, you gotta do what you enjoy doing, but. I think everyone should build up to experience potions, you know what I mean, at the very least. Uh, and then buy them. For sure. Uh, the slow is very annoying actually, guys. Mm, I didn't really save the witches, right? Let's see. You dare come here. There you go. Yo, what's up, Heinz? Welcome. Heinz again. Mutated scales. So much poison! Tell me something, how are you still alive, Mr. Tree? Thank you. Oh, uh, we have a one-shot chest here, in fact.
Leggings of the Arcane Currents. Guys, how many flowers so far? Eight? Hmm. Then that's gonna die. I wonder if fight is going to be troublesome. Probably not. Oh no, the trees seem to be pretty resistant against me. It takes a while to like take them down. See how it goes. It turned out to be a little bit easier now. Start was a little bit hectic. That's it, Vitality with the Vile Scones. Ravenous Earth, plus two. That's it, we tell. Oops. Not sure. They're always, like, on the low side of resistance stuff, so... So it's a bit hard to replace things. I'm kind of wondering if he like ended up finding like the Wendigo quest item and stuff like that. It's gonna be awkward when when the coven is gonna ask me about them and I'm like I didn't find them yet. But regardless, like we are going to be going enemies here. I don't necessarily know like how hard the cave is going to be. We'll see. Ah, oh, he's destroying me. It's not fair. Yeah. I bought them, but us. Not even using it though. Yo, how's it going, Ketsal? Welcome. I'm hoping to find the sword from these guys. Hopefully. Ah, 
Ouch. I think we do this place entirely. <laughs> if there's anything else left to kill. Now there has to be something over here. Farming a little bit of like infamy with these thing, things. It's not too bad, I would say. Reaper of Lost is probably very resistant against, against the light entity. <laughs> I'm not going there, it's just with two things that are resistant against me. Peter. Speaking of which, like so far we were lucky enough to not uh, face Koopa. I'm kind of thinking about running the cave of Barrow Home regardless, just for like the mutated skills and maybe some like basilisk emblems. That's gonna kill the boss at the end of it, no need. We, we could also kill it, like, it doesn't matter so much, I suppose, it shouldn't be too hard. But yeah, at the very least once I'm gonna run it. Even though we are enemies with the battle homes, fine. Okay, here we go. Let's see how high this is. Corpses, man. <laughs> Sky to the other way. I had to basically like stand still and tank him um, when I have my oh, mark of torment, I think, so that like we can shotgun him a little bit instead of kiting him all the time. Okay, maybe try here. Dude, even with the Mark of Torment, he's sitting very hard on me. Poor guy. Uh, 
I do chose it. Nice. That's not too bad. It's manageable actually, the damage that I take. It's not even feeling repay. Glad I didn't pull these two with them. Well, there's nothing else here, really? We need loot. No loot. Fair. Wasn't there like, um... I don't know. Some hidden chest somewhere on here? Maybe. There. It's not over here. I think I passed it somehow. It's not over there. Not necessarily hidden, but... Ah, look at this. Okay, worth. Seems simple enough. It wants Venom Gaze Bile and Leaf Mane Alpha Horn. Uh, we're gonna find them like right above. Barrow Horn, I think. I suppose I need to do that quest to be able to do this too. Let's complete this one too. It's nice. It's also why I came back. For some reason, like, I couldn't find those items yet. That's awkward. Maybe I should have, like, cleaned my bags a little bit. Yeah, it's kind of messed. Let's clean the bags quick. Oh, we could definitely use some new rings. Or a basilisk mark. Oh, it's just a DK armor. That's all. Defensive ability is good on it, and it is it is the mark that we need. But rest is kind of BS. So this weapon that we are looking for, I don't really think we found it yet. Unfortunately. Yeah, it is the Wendigo Claw. Not yet. Apparently it's a rare drop. Is yet another one there? Look at this one, by the way. Like, Acid, Poison, Offense by 38 Elements, redu redu Reduction to Stun, and... Retaliation. This is a ridiculous ring here. Especially for acid retail. Some sort of like a sentinel or something. It would have been insane. I've never uh, found something like that for my sentinel. That's insane. Um... Hard to tell this one. I like the fact that it's scaling both acid... And Vitality at the same time. I think we're going to need to keep this one, guys. Especially, like, when we have the Dark One set and I'm changing my belt. Uh, that is when we're going to need to, like, use those pens. But right now, it should be okay without it. Okay, we can keep this in the bank as well. Why not? Pierce bleed fire resistances with vitality damage. Acid damage converted to elemental. 
blood face. And yeah, we have these shoulders as well. Very hard to replace at once, but I think they're upgrades, in fact. I'll try and, like, replace my shoulders so that we have the set bonus coming from there. Let's see. It actually looks awesome, man. It's funny. Corrupted soul. <laughs> it gives plus three to uh, bone harvest. Hmm. Yeah, we need some chaos this time. Wait, I was converting my vitality damage to fire damage from these shoulders. That was a mistake, you guys. I shouldn't have done that, like, at all. That is fucked up. I don't necessarily know, like, how I managed to make such a mistake. And we have been wearing those shoulders for some time, too. Don't do something like that. You're converting your main damage into something else that you're not scaling. Uh, that's an absolute mistake. Not really sure. I should have paid a little bit more attention to itemization. That's bad. Well, now it's gone. It's good news. You should have a damage boost out of that, for sure. Kind of want to, like, replace these as well. I think... I think I want to like use these new pens that are scaling a little bit more on the acid side of things and uh, maybe use like this belt over here instead that's giving me armor, stun resistance and uh, defense ability in fact. That would be that would be very good in my opinion. I really don't think I'm gonna need these pens, I'm gonna delete them. I can delete those, I can delete that one. I am fairly certain that I can delete this one as well. I'm not going to use it. It's a crazy ring, I know, but yeah. Nine percent physique on this guy. Finding like a vitality basilisk, basilisk crest is going to be very difficult. But I don't really know if I can, like, actually, um... Make it work without. Especially after crafting the dagger. We we're gonna need a Basilisk Crest. For sure. I like my resistances right now, and if we remove this one... Do I have, like, a Wardstone somewhere? 52, huh? Aether resistance is going away. Does Wardstone give it? No. We could put like a... I actually do need bleed resistance. That's interesting. But that's going to be fixed by uh, putting the Yugdenbog leather. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and like put the... Physique one. To gain a little bit more HP out of it. 9% Physique isn't so bad. Start using that, and we also we also put like an aether soul on this. I think. Do I have an aether soul in the bank? Let's see. No, let's craft an aether soul. Three wrath stones. That's a little bit more playable, for sure. Rest in peace to that belt, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, I need to buy the rift here, right? Let's do it. Maybe they're in my bank? Is it possible that they're in my bank? I like my new itemization here. I think we're gonna gain uh, quite a lot of DPS from this. Simply because, like, I didn't realize we were using some sort of, like, a wrong, um, you know, shoulder pads, which is actually, like, converting my vitality away. That was, uh, that was a very big mistake, in fact. <laughs> People on YouTube was probably like, no, Mala, what are you doing with those shoulders? <laughs> It's all right. Shit happens. Is that really giving like plus three? That's very good. 23 points into Ravenous Earth there. That's nice. Fifty-eight percent. This one actually like gave me a little bit of aether resistance. That's nice. Seven percent there. I'm gonna need like some some chaos resistance, some elemental resistances as well. Turns out. Hmm. What if I go back to like using void stone for my medallion? How does that look? I think I'm gonna need to do that. So let me see. And I don't have a mobility component apparently. We can put this here, we can use like a ward stone on this. Um Yeah, I think I'm done with this. That's okay. I'm done with that too. I'll take the scaled hide out. Gaining a little bit more armor here. That's not too bad. Keep the add-on. Keep the add-on over there as well. Let's put this one over here. It's gonna help me out a little bit with the resistances. I think I sell those. Oops, wrong things. Hold up. So, what about the black tallow then? Didn't I make some like rifts, rift stones at the very early game as a mistake? There we go. So we're gonna need most likely one more rift stone to make a black tallow. I told you it was calculated, you guys. <laughs> um, eh. I was thinking of putting it over there instead of the white city over cap, which is going to be good. Now uh, let's do it so that I can see my resistances. You stun an HP. Are you guys actually like seeing my defensive ability? Nobody is saying anything but my defense and offensive ability is now getting up there. Finally. That's good news. That is very good news, man. I bugged it out, it's like applying beforehand. Don't like it. I lost a little bit of HP, that's true. Lost a little bit of HP here and there. So, what do we need here? Um, there are two items that we can put to stuff. There are actually like three items that we could put to stuff. I definitely need some like Aether, some Chaos, um, and probably some Elemental Resistances as well. Actually, like Fire and Lightning. Is Fire and Lightning a thing for me? There's a fire and cold, and cold and lightning. Unfortunately, there's no fire and lightning. Yo, stream, where is the fire and lightning? Uh, Pierce and chaos is interesting. Ah, oh, fire and lightning, there it is. Okay, that's good. It didn't apply. Okay. Uh, I might actually use one more. This is all bugged out right now. Sorry. There we go. 13% over the top. Maybe like Aether and Chaos or something like that. Do we have the Aether and Chaos? We do. Put that one over there. What else do we have on these? Lightning and Aether? Yeah, I keep the Lightning and Aether, I think. 
That's the same. This one is Pat Aether. Okay. And this one is Pierce and Poison. Is it possible that I replace that? Pierce and Poison with like something else. Maybe like Pierce and Aether or something like that. That would be so good actually. And I'd oh my god, there's a Pierce and Aether. Give me that. Okay, this is this is very good. This is very good. And in fact, this is going to be playable, I think. The only thing that we're missing is to enter the Forgotten Gods and buy myself some uh, mobility components. Then we're ready to play. This took me a while to like optimize, but we are looking better in every side of things. And at the same time, my damage is going to be drastically higher because of that mistake that we were doing. That's nice. It's made me happy now. This guy's respected. Rush and disengage. No, I want the um, rift tier, I think. Leap and vanish? It's not it either. What about you? Rift tier, there we go. Let's buy a couple of these. I mean, I'm pretty sure like we could craft something more expensive as well, but... No need right now. I'll continue with this. So, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I was running towards the Barrow Home cave, even though we don't necessarily need it for a quest. I think I want to farm that place. I really like how the metal looks right now. It's funny, this thing. We finally make some say sense as well. We don't necessarily look like a clown anymore. You guys get to see the damage. Hmm. I was thinking go from the right side. Hopefully Kuba is not going to be there. The Venom Gaze dropped, by the way. We are here for the mutated scales, some basilisk marks, maybe some battle shells, it's possible. Hopefully. Battle shell, give me that. But we are definitely stronger, you guys. I like this. I like this. Give me 
Is that mutated scale? Let's go. Is anything here? Wait, eh? Stronghold Waste Guard. Hey, the science at least. Maybe a recipe out of it, who knows? Relic. Hella's outbreak. It's actually a level 90 relic even. Can you reliably farm level 90 relics out of like uh treasure chose? Like what are the drop rates? Does did like did anyone farm treasure chows uh, religiously for some relic recipes? Like for the account itself, that's that's a ridiculous drop, of course, but for this character alone it's not going to be required. One less risk to find, that's pretty good. I actually ended up finding a lot of sins like that too. That's funny. See how fast we can end up killing this guy. This guy's Aether, I think. Okay, this is good. good youtube i think this is going to be the ending of part 16 i am not really sure but it is definitely possible that like on 17 we are going to be uh actually trying out the low car cave because we are not that far away anymore i think i only need to like build up to this place unless there's something that i'm missing and then afterwards we'll try that out and that's going to start dropping like our set items if they're strong enough these recent changes that I made, oh. it actually looks so much better than before, it's crazy. Thanks for watching YouTube, remember to leave a like and I'll see you on the next part, peace.